we uh, approach the festive season, the council is once again supporting small businesses ahead of a key trading period through a number of initiatives, including bringing back our free out of three offer, which we see free parking available in council owned car parks across the county out of three pm say this month. In addition, free parking will be available across the county at 10 a.m. this coming Saturday, the 7th of December, in all our off street car parks and on street spaces. This coincides with Small Business Saturday, which is a national initiative encouraging people to shop local.
activity. These are, I believe, all personal qualities that can apply aptly and describe Lorraine O'Donnell, Brian Archer, and Stephen Howell. I hope, Lorraine, Brian, and Stephen, that you will all look back on your many successes during your time working with and for the Council and be justly proud. Thank you for the positive contribution you have made over the years to inspire others and to move the Council forward.
right off the mind, best wishes for the future as well. And can, we, can I just join us and give them a massive round of applause here? Strong message. 
message of how seriously, as a council, we are to achieving these targets and making a positive environmental difference for our county. I think that's a really positive step. I mentioned uh, Lorraine previously has requested to consider the bonds you didn't see, which I have accepted. This follow review meetings that have established that the major projects in um, within the transformation program have now been developed sufficiently to allow these to be mainstream, which was always our intention. The new HQ is now a construction project with the risk transfer to the developer. The work in our strategic sites is now either completed or programmed up in the near future. Work to deliver our new history centre is now well advanced. And the unitisation and transformation of our business services is very well advanced, with all savings targets delivered or attractively delivered. The work to develop a new vision for the next decade has also been completed, and our partnership arrangements are the envy of councils throughout the country. I would personally like to thank Lorraine for her work, energy, and commitment since we became a unitary council, and for her significant contribution to our collective team. Lorraine's work has played an important part success for our council and is appreciated by everyone. The final financial implications of what I propose are detailed in the report, as are the arrangements to realign the heads of service in the rooms of the area as a result of the changes I've detailed. The recommendations are detailed in the paragraph 7 of the report. Can I have a move that? Yeah, thank you. The report identifies that in recent years there's been significant economic activity in the county, with major new developments including the GN Enterprise Zone, which is adjacent to Dalton Park, Forest Park in Newton Hillcliff, Riverwalk, and Milburn in Durham City. I'm also aware of Glaxo's recent development in Barnum, Barnum Castle, and the fantastic work of Bishop Walken by Jonathan Ruffer and his team working with the council. Durham University have a billion pound development programme. And 80 heads will, will be one of the most sought after business parks in the UK once the council has relocated to the THQ building, which will also, also boost the local economy. One of the biggest developments in the North East recently has been the work that's happening now in Tegra 61, just off the A1 motorway, which will bring more than 5,000 jobs to the county, and the extremely large building that is currently being erected will bring the council £640,000 of business rates every year when completed rising to 1 million should the plan change in business rates allocation happen. Yet throughout the county there is more than £3.4 billion pounds worth of investment going on, which is a remarkable figure. Our culture, sport and tourism offer has also grown significantly in recent years and it's been great this year seeing the World Cup cricket in Chester Street, food festivals at Sea and Bishop Auckland, brass city centre cycling and running festivals, our now established food festival, and Cameron being a striving and developing further and a wide range of activities at Bowes and Newby Castle and of course Lumiere, which demonstrates how often now has a worldwide appeal with more to come. No wonder that our tourism programme has now grown to not just short of £1 million a year and employing over 12,000 people from County Durham. To do all of this and to maximise future opportunities, we need senior management capacity here. This proposal will allow us to dedicate resources to what is our biggest priority, growing our economy and jobs. I'm sure that as a result of this proposal, we'll be able to focus even more on creating thousands of new jobs and to maximise the economic opportunities that we've created since we became a new community back in 2009. On, on that basis, Chair, I'm more than happy to formally endorse the proposals I've set out in the report. And the second,
which um, do not just set out the main data as a the local council tax reduction scheme proposals for next year, which in essence are unchanged for the current scheme, except for adding some further flexibility to help those that are most vulnerable. We are now the only council in the North East that has a scheme that continues with the benefits available of the old council tax benefit scheme. And I think we should be proud as a council that we are supportive of what is such an important benefit for people across this county. Then people really are struggling to make ends meet. Universal credit, constant welfare reform, and years of austerity have hit people hard. By continuing this scheme, we will provide much needed support to those that need it most. I'm more than happy to move the recommendations as set out before Jen. And second Do not pass anything across to the parish councils up there. 
Well, this has been discussed and it's been agreed by the local councils on the facilitation. They've known from day one when the revenue support run was heading south that they would see a depreciation. Actually, there's a half a million increase in revenue support grant and they will benefit from that, Chair. Chair, may I come back on that? If no one else wishes to speak, in Councillor Nicholas is exercised his right to reply. So can I ask the Council to agree the recommendations to be in the report? Agreed. That would be on to item 10, 2019 20, Treasury Management half term, the update. Can I ask the Corporate Director of Resources to present the report, please? Yeah, thank you, Chair. This is the half year report on the Council's Treasury Management Act of the 30th of September 2019. The report is prepared in accordance with the Supreme Court's practice on treasury management, which sets out the areas which should be reported to Council. The executive summary for paragraph 2 sets out the key investment and borrowing information that is dealt with in sections of the report. In summary, at the half year, points of borrowing total were 341 million, and the Council held investments totaling 287 million. So the Council's net debt was therefore 54 million pounds at the half year point. In the first six months of the year, borrowing of 40 million was taken out of the Public Works Loan Board. The rates of 2.25% and 2.23%, which are, have been historically low. More recently, the PDB rates have increased by one full percentage point, which will increase the cost of any future borrowing for local authorities across the country. Investment activity set out in paragraph 22 which shows the investment profile of the Council's cash balances, and these investments are in line with the Council's investment policy set out in the report. Credential indicators are shown in the report and within the limits that have been set by Council. We are asking Council to agree to a change to the operational boundary to reflect reclassification to the long term lease interest set out in the report, which has been agreed as part of the final Council process. And the recommendation is set out in paragraph 6, Chair. Can I have a mover? Thank you, Chair. This is a half year update report on Treasury Management activity, and it's pleased to say that our investments and borrowing are being well managed in accordance with the Treasury Management strategy that this Council has agreed. As Johnny set out, the report recommends increasing the operational boundary and authorising for external debt to take account of how leases are and can be for going forward, and as set out in paragraph 28. More than happy to do the recommendations down. And the seconder? Both the second recommendations, Are there any questions on the report? Can I ask the Council to agree recommendations detailed in the report?
just to um, congratulate everybody involved in the production of the plan. It's had a lot of community <coughs> engagement, and I'm more than happy to move the recommendations of the report that is now formed part of the 